Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Hello my friends, today is a very exciting day for fans of Half-Life and VR, because the Black Mesa game, which is a fan recreation of Half-Life 1, is now playable in VR. This is all thanks to a new VR mod that does require some special installation that I'll walk you through in a little bit. And I wanted to share this as soon as I discovered it, because this looks and plays fantastic in VR. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. And now with Black Mesa playable in VR, that means that every single Half-Life game is now VR capable. I know that fans of Black Mesa have been waiting for a VR version for a long time, and now it's finally here, with great interactions, two-handed weapons, and much more. And now, without further ado, let me walk you through the installation to get this playing in VR. First thing is, you need the Steam version of Black Mesa. It's a $20 purchase, I just installed this now. You also need to install Half-Life 2 Episode 2 VR Mod. This mod is a free download if you already own Half-Life 2 Episode 2. You can see that's installing for me right now. And it just finished. Fabulous. Okay, outside of Steam, there are two things we need to download. Mod Organizer 2 and the mod itself. Black Mesa Source VR. I'll link to both of these down below. I have them downloaded here. Let's install Mod Organizer 2. I accept. Now, I'm gonna put this on C drive and I'm gonna make a new folder called MO2 Black Mesa. Next, 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 install. All right, for now I'm not going to launch it. I'm going to go over to where I installed it. C drive, MO2 Black Mesa. Now this mod is installed in a very different way than you would usually install mods in Mod Organizer. What we're going to do is open up the Black Mesa Source VR and now I'm going to put all of this inside the Mod Organizer 2 folder overriding everything that it wants to. And just as I suspected, this is going to overwrite lots of files in the Mod Organizer 2 installation. I will click replace. Okay, that's done. Fantastic. Let's launch Mod Organizer 2. I'm going to say no, don't ask again. Okay, now after opening Mod Organizer 2, things are already pre-configured for us thanks to the mod. I did not install Half-Life 2 VR on my C drive. Because of that, I had to take a couple of extra steps to link things up. I'm going to go to Tools, Settings, Paths, and Managed Game. Click that, and then choose the actual location of Episode 2 VR. Okay, and now go to Tools, Executables, Half-Life 2 VR, and we want the binary and start in to be the actual folder here. Open, after selecting the first one, I'm just gonna copy and paste. There, okay. And finally, wherever your Mod Organizer 2 installation is, go into Mods, Zen, GameInfo.txt. I'm going to open this with Notepad++. I want these lines 46 through 50 to match the installation folder for Black Mesa. Here I have my Steam library, Steam apps, Black Mesa. And you can tell because it has that BMS subfolder. Copy that and put that here. There we go. 
This way you can see where my Black Mesa assets truly live. Okay, save that, close that. Now let's get playing. Okay, I have launched VR in Mod Organizer 2. Make sure in the dropdown, Half-Life 2 VR is selected and then click Run. Okay, now this says Half-Life 2, Episode 2. I'm gonna choose right hand, uh, okay, all these settings. Next, automatically pick up consumables. It's so nice to have all these options. Finish. New game. And now, here's the Black Mesa stuff. And that's it. Enjoy, my friends. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!